And at the Capitol, the Montana legislature will hold its first hearing this week on what's likely to be a major issue this session, proposals to expand access to preschool. MTN's Jonathan Ambarian reports on two of the major bills that will be considered. Governor Steve Bullock has made investing in preschool one of his top goals for this year's legislative session. During his State of the State address Thursday, Bullock laid out his proposal. $22 million for public schools to offer preschool and $8 million to continue the STARS preschool program for Head Start and other private and community programs. House Minority Leader Casey Schreiner, a Democrat from Great Falls, is sponsoring House Bill 225. It includes several of the governor's education initiatives, including allowing school districts that offer preschool programs to get per-student funding for them. It also is focused on a system that we already know is successful. These schools already exist in our communities, but it also provides boundaries and standards uh, through, through the A and B system that make sure that, that what the state's paying for is they're getting a quality product. But some Republicans, like Representative Eric Moore of Miles City, are working on an alternative preschool model. He plans to introduce a bill that would establish block grants that could be given to public or private providers. He also wants to see early education handled by a new state department instead of the Department of Public Health and Human Services or Office of Public Instruction. I don't want DPHHS to be jack of all trades and master of none. And I don't particularly want to increase the OPI bureaucracy. I don't want this to be underneath the, the Board of Public Ed. Schreiner says he's skeptical about the need for an independent early education authority. We've had a successful Board of Public Ed. There's a system already in place. There's no need to grow government to accomplish the task of, of giving you know, young people the opportunity for a good education. But Moore says his plan is the one that can win support from majority Republicans in the legislature. If we're going to do preschool, it should be on a school choice, merit-based, money follow the student model, and it doesn't need to be within DPHHS. That's where we're going to start the conversation. If we're going to do preschool at all, I think my model is better, and I think Republicans will like it. In Helena, Jonathan Ambarian, MTN News. The House Education Committee will hold the first hearing on Shriner's bill this afternoon. Moore's bill will be introduced later, possibly in March.